Strangling a child in his care appears in court this afternoon. Our Casey Cronus is live with how authorities say this isn't the first time this happened, Casey. Yeah, Ben, that victim was reportedly seen crying in school when asked why she stated Tomara Pulliam had tried to choke her again. It was allegedly the second time within three months. State of Wisconsin versus Tamara Pulliam. Accused of strangling an 11-year-old girl in his care, not once, but twice, 49-year-old Tamara Pulliam appears in court Wednesday. Mr. Pulliam, the complaint charges you with two counts of strangulation and suffocation. The first incident reportedly happened New Year's Day at Pulliam's home near South 105th and Lincoln Avenue in West Dallas. The victim reported Pulliam was upset that she had not cleaned up immediately, grabbing her throat and squeezing, causing so much pain she stated she could barely breathe. She guessed the choking lasted for about a minute, and it wasn't the last time. In April, the victim was observed crying in school and said Pulliam tried to choke her again. Court documents state when the girl tried to show Pulliam she had completed her homework, Pulliam used both hands to squeeze her neck, causing pain to go through her body. She said her throat felt screechy and she couldn't swallow breakfast. Now Pulliam stands with his attorney, released from court Wednesday after signing a $750 signature bond. Do you have any questions, Mr. Pulliam, regarding anything that I've stated thus far? No, ma'am. Pulliam faces up to six years in prison or a $10,000 fine for each felony count. He has been ordered to have no contact with the victim. Reporting live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Casey Cronus, Fox 6 News. There's some serious charges there. Casey, thank you. Foxconn's new.